we're in a little bit of tough form at the moment. How's the morale in the camp? Yeah, no, still good. Um, like I said, not much has train, changed in training. We're going through the same patterns, things like that. Just to try and keep things consistent. Um, like I said before, we I think every club is probably going to find a sticky period somewhere. Um, ours seem to have coincided when we've had a couple of injuries. Um, but we just need to get back on some positive results. Um, and obviously looking forward to the weekend. Another tough game, but definitely one that we feel going into it that we can win. I think one thing that we've seen is that the performances haven't lacked either. We've, we've had the chances to to get ourselves level or get ourselves ahead, but surely it will just pay off soon. Yeah, um, we've got goals in this team um, and teams who seem to have competitiveness between them always seem to do well. So you've got Sam and, and MJ who were who were competing to to score the most goals. You've got Tim scoring from midfield. We've got both wing backs who are putting assists in. You've probably got four or five each, maybe. So it's always good to have that in-house competitiveness. Um so I think we, we always have goals in the team. Um but at the minute we seem to be conceding first and then chasing games. Um and I think clubs always say that the first goal in games is, is really, really important. And I think if we got the first one, we'd always go on and, and get a positive result. So it's something we've definitely got to work towards. Um, but I'm sure the positive results will come. I'm worried about using the word crisis at the moment, but there is an injury problem. And and obviously at, at centre-back as well, you're bringing in your experience to the side, which it looks like it's going to be an a unfamiliar defence on Saturday. Yeah, probably a little bit, but as much as we do on the training ground, we're always in and out and swapping and changing. So we all know what the team's going to be doing when, if we were to be called upon. Um, even bits and bobs sort of when I've came on and, and contributed for half an hour and other boys have come on and things like that. We always try and keep the same structure of how we're going to play. Um, so the boys have been definitely unlucky to pick up the injuries when they have, but the strength and depth that we have is a strength for the whole team um, and hopefully when we step in or if we step in it's just going to follow on and and start getting good results really. It's a great chance for you to step in and also stake a claim to stay in the side as well. Yeah that, that, that's what I sort of mentioned before the late Orient game was my own fault and then the boys before that the boys after that have done brilliant. Um, so you know, if, if I get the nod on Saturday, it's another opportunity for me to show the manager what I can do, help the team as much as I can, and then stay in the team. I, I think as long as I'm as long as you're playing well in the team, the jersey's there for you to be for you to give up, really. Um gives the manager something to think about when the other boys get back fit. And and that's my aim. And Vale are obviously going into game third and they're in a good run of form themselves. How have you assessed them this season? To be honest, I've not seen much of them. Um, I know at the minute they've got a bit of a, a crisis with injuries as well, you could say. Um, but they've still been getting goals from midfield and, and other different players. So we've got a goal there positive. Um, we've had some good results away from home this season. So we've just got to build on what we've done recently, even though our results haven't been too positive. Um, start the game well and go on from there. It's it's rare at this time of the season to have had a week's break. How have the preparations been? No, they've been good. Um, we had a busy schedule, obviously, before that. We, we've had an extra day off this week just to, to try and help the boys recover a little bit. We've played a lot of minutes um, and worked really hard and really well on Tuesday. Um, and then the next couple of days, sort of today and, and tomorrow, will be sort of fine-tuning everything towards the game, what we're going to do, what we're going to work come up against and things like that. So definitely a sort of over the next couple of days that'll be what we're working towards the weekend. Vale Park is notoriously a cold ground and the home fans always bring out a good atmosphere there as well. With the conditions is it's vital that we get the early goal and silence the crowd. Yeah, I think so. I, I think being solid um from the start is is going to be important not conceding. Uh, like I said earlier, I think in this team we always have goals. So the longer we can keep a clean sheet at the back the better it is for the team. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to deal what what they throw at us, obviously conditions and things like that, but it's nothing we've not come up against before. Um, so we've got to look forward to it and go into the game being positive.
and we should be bringing some great support ourselves. How impressed have you been with the fans this season? Yeah, coming myself, I didn't realise how fast some of the games were, to be honest. Um, that's obviously had a really good following at Barrow, Scunthorpe, Hartpool. So, uh, yeah, the support has definitely put in the hard yards to come and help us. Um, and it definitely helps having that away support, definitely.